In this video, we will be configuring a BSS Blue 8 V2 to be used as a VCA control for the DCIN 4 or 8 channel amplifiers. In order to do this, make sure that you have Audio Architect 1.5 or higher installed. Audio Architect can be downloaded from audioarchitect.harmonpro.com. Once Audio Architect is downloaded and installed, connect the DCI amplifier and the Blue 8 V2 to your network then launch Audio Architect. In the Discover Devices tab, click and drag the amplifier you want to control into the Room 1 tab. In this example, we will be using a DCIN 4-channel amplifier model. Drag the Blue 8 V2 into the Room 1 tab as well. Double-click on both the amplifier and the Blue 8 V2 icons to open and view separate controls for each product. Select Encoder Mode 8 Zones as the Blue 8 V2's mode. To assign amplifier objects to be controlled by the Blue 8 V2, simply hold Control, then click and drag the objects you want to be controlled to the proper parameter on the Blue 8 V2. With the Blue 8 V2 in encoder mode, you will see an 8 Zones tab which represents each position around the selector dial. To program Zone 1 to control the Channel 1 Blue Output Processing Fader, hold down the Control button, click on the Channel 1 Blue Fader, then drag it to the encoder dial on the Blue 8 V2. Next, control click and drag the channel 1 output meter over to the LED meter on the Blue 8 V2. Control click on the channel 1 mute button and drag it to button 1 on the Blue 8 V2 to have the option to mute that channel. Notice the highlighted areas. This indicates that it's programmed and displays what each item is programmed to control below. Position 1 on the Blue 8 V2 is now set up to control channel 1's level and mute on the DCI amplifier. The LED meter will also show output level for that channel. To program the remaining channels, simply click Zone 2 on the Blue 8 V2 and repeat the process for each channel. If you're using an 8-channel amplifier, note that when you get to Zone 5 on the Blue 8 V2, button 1 will be used as a Channel 5 mute since there are only 4 buttons on this controller. You're now ready to go online with the devices. Click Go Online and you'll see an L displayed next to the controller. Clicking this will load the settings you just programmed and assigned to the Blue 8 V2. You will see an R and an S next to the amplifier. If you have already programmed the amplifier and have settings you want the software to receive, then click the R. If the amplifier has not been programmed or you've programmed the amplifier prior to going online, then click the S to send those settings to the amplifier. The Blue 8 V2 is now programmed to act as a VCA control and more for your amplifier. If you have any questions, please visit www.crownaudio.com.